I have probably the most amazing walk to work. I head through the Albaicin, the historic neighborhood of Granada, thinking that many Andalusian historians, intellectuals walk down these same cobblestone roads. Like I have to pinch myself every day, you know, when I walk in and out. And I think about it often, that here I am, not only writing about the history, but I'm also living in the land where it happened. My name is Justin Benavides. I'm a researcher in Granada, working on the Quran commentary of Al Qurtubi for the Mira project. The movement of knowledge, uh, the movement of ideas, uh, is, is a theme of my project. In terms of how it goes from one place to another, I'm looking at Muhammad Al Qurtubi. Um, so he brings this. Andalusian intellectual tradition with him, but it's not in books or in sacks. This tradition that he brings with him, you could say, is inside of him. He has memorized much of it already, uh, and that's part of the tradition, is to memorize. Um, so he takes this with him, this knowledge, uh, to Egypt, and he continues his education there. One aspect that I'll be looking at is the Andalusian intellectual tradition that he integrates into his work. And I think that one question that will come out is the identity question. Why does he include the Andalusis uh, in his work? For who is he writing for? Today I'm gonna uh, meet uh, a colleague, Abdul Noor, who's also a researcher in Granada, and we're going to discuss our projects, which has to do with the sharing of knowledge. So uh, I'm working on a project, the transfer of knowledge from Al-Andalus to the Islamic East, uh, in particular uh, Egypt. And one of the questions is that how is it connected to being an Andalusi, holding on to your Andalusi identity? So you're looking at something a little similar, mm -hmm. the influence of Andalusi uh, writing. Mm -hmm. Concretamente, estoy analizando desde un punto de vista de haciendo un estudio, un análisis historiográfico de las crónicas las crónicas que se compusieron en la primera parte del sultanato mameluco, lo que se conoce como el periodo Bahri, cómo eh, encaja dentro, dentro de ese conjunto civilizatorio. Mm. Ok, interesante. ¿Por qué elegiste estudiar la historia islámica? ¿Qué es lo que te interesa? En realidad no hay una razón especial ni algo que esté relacionado con mi background ni con mi identidad, por llamarlo de alguna manera, fueron un poco más las circunstancias las que me llevaron a estudiar. Evidentemente vivimos en una ciudad como Granada, donde la presencia eh, de esa cultura es más que evidente. Okay. The question of identity does it come up? Sí, de alguna manera, sí, sí, de alguna manera viene. Quiera o no, somos gente de aquí de Granada. Al final han sido ocho siglos de Al-Ándalus. Luego también mi ascendencia por parte de madre viene de Marruecos, que también está, vamos también parte de lo que fue al Andaluz en su momento y muchos de los emigrados a esa zona, Andalucía emigraron a esa zona, pero, ¿sabes? El mundo académico al final estamos trabajando, estamos estudiando algo, en, y más en una tesis doctoral, algo muy específico, pero no de una manera, la palabra no es bien fundamental, pero una manera más ideal o romántica que yeah, yeah. una manera yeah. más académica o yeah. de una manera más bien fundamental. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Y en tu caso, ¿por qué decidiste estudiar eh, una eh, estudio árabe, algo relacionado con el mundo yeah. islámico? I mean, there was a number of reasons. Uh, part of it was the romantic. Unlike you, I was definitely influenced by, I had romantic ideas. And that's because as an American, um, the romantic aspect is very strong in the United States. When we think of Spain, when we think of Granada, we conjure up certain images uh, in our mind. I brought that with me coming to study, uh, but really in the beginning for me it was, um, I was interested in, in Latin American literature. But at some point, uh, certain Latin American authors emphasized the, the, the Arab influence, in particular the language. And that for me was very interesting. And after reading that, I went on a different path, and that led me to study the history of, of this land. And for me, that's where it started. I'm able to study the history here and the land where where it happened 
And I think that provides a sort of a, a source of inspiration to carry on the work. No matter what I do in the future, I always look back and always be thankful that I was able to have this experience. Thank you.